Hello doctors, this is Dr. Auroraj. It is that time where we are going to revise all the contents which we have studied so far and also concentrate on the all IE topics. Today we are going to look into the orthopedic topics, especially the ones which have been asked in the past five years. Let's go. Clavicle is a very important bone in the body. It is the only horizontal bone in the body. And remember, most common site of the clavicle fracture is going to be at the junction of lateral one third. Remember, lateral one third and medial two third. Yes, the lateral part starts from here and then it goes down to the sternum. Remember, this is going to be the lateral one third and this is going to be the medial two third. So, this is the most common area where the clavicle gets fractured. So the moment you see such an image in the exam having bamboo spine, what is it sir? It is alkalizing spondylitis. Very good. For clinical orientation, please remember it has elevated ESR. It is an autoimmune disease having HLA27. Bamboo spine is going to be seen and we are going to do scober test and treatment is going to be what? Indomethacin is given to the patient. Good. Look at the image here. What is this? This is going to be scaphoid fracture. Yes. Fall on outstretch. That is going to cause what? Scaphoid fracture. Most commonly fractured bone in the hand is going to be what? Scaphoid. Most commonly dislocated bone in the hand is going to be what? Lunate. Please remember. Now look at this image here. This is going to be what? Glass holding position. Yes. It is what? It is also called as scaphoid cast. It is going to deficit dorsiflexion and radial deviation. Please remember. The bony the tumor over here in the radius at the metaphysis, what is this sir? This is going to be what? Giant cell tumor, very important for the exam and it shows what? So bubble appearance, yes. The tumor over here in the humerus, what is this? This is going to be aneurysmal bone tumor. Now remember, it is going to be blood field lesions, especially seen in the epiphysis. Also question. I hope everybody could identify this image. What is this splint? This is called as knuckle splint. Please remember, knuckle has U. This is going to be what? Knuckle splint. And what nerve is going to be injured here? It is due to ulnar nerve injury. Due to ulnar nerve injury. Yes, please remember. The image over here, it is going to be what? Cock up splint, cock up splint. Please remember this. Cock up splint is due to radial nerve injury. Radial nerve injury. Yes. And now this is going to be what? Denny Brown splint. Denny's Brown splint is due to what? Congenital talipis equinus varus. Yes. So please revise these three images. Claw hand as partial claw hand and complete claw hand. This is the image for what? Partial claw hand. And that is due to what? Ulnar nerve injury. This is due to ulnar nerve injury. Whereas in complete claw hand, remember in complete claw hand, this is due to both ulnar and median nerve injury. Complete claw hand due to ulnar and median nerve injury. Whereas partial claw hand is due to what? ulnar nerve injury median nerve injury is very important to be revised what is this test called as sir this is called as phalanx test whereas this is called as what a reverse phalanx test and the this test over the thumb with the pen is called as what pen test also done for median nerve injury next we have pointing index test what is this called as pointing index test luckily all these Test starts with letter P. Yes, they all start with letter P. So, most of the median nerve injury starts with letter P. Let's quickly revise. What is this test? This is called as what? Fallon test. Question. This is called as what? Reverse Fallon test. And this is called as what? Pen test. And this is going to be pointing index test. 
So this image here, this is called as what? Winging of scapula. Winging of scapula is due to long thoracic nerve. Question. This is what? This is going to be the image of Taylor Blaze splint. Yeah. And this splint is called as what? Milwaukee splint. And this is called as Pavlik harness splint. Pavlik harness splint. Please look at the images and try to revise them. Now, what is this? This is called as what? N chondroma. This tumor is the most common tumor of the end. This one, this is called as osteochondroma. Remember, osteochondroma. The image over here having sunray appearance. What are these called as? Osteosarcoma. This is called as osteosarcoma. And this one is going to be Potts puffy tumor. Montagia and Galeazzi fractures are very important. It is very important to also know the differences between these two. Montagia fracture is going to be dislocation, anterior dislocation. Remember of the radial head. Yes, anteriorly it got dislocated. And fracture at the proximal one third of ulna. Proximal one third of ulna. Whereas in Galeazzi fracture, anterior dislocation happens at the ulnar head yes there is a dislocation here and there is going to be a fracture at the distal one third of the radius distal one third of the radius this is going to be where at the proximal one third yes and what are the nerve injured please remember with the mnemonic murga this is going to be ulnar and this is going to be radial yes What is this fracture here? Doctors, try to revise what is this? this which bone is this? Alna bone. What fracture is this, by the way? This is going to be night stick fracture. Yes. And there is a fracture here at the stylar process of radius. What is this? This is going to be, try to revise, this is going to be Schaufer's fractures. Yeah, this is called as Schaufer's fractures. It is when the driver, when he drives the car, he, when the accident happens, it hits that stylar pause of radius and the fracture occurs. In French, chauffeur means what? Driver. It means driver. Yes. Please try to identify this image and try to comment your answers. Very good. What is this image? This is going to be bone cutter and this is called as what? Bone nibbler. Yeah. Pencil thin cortex is classically seen in which condition? It is seen in? scurvy very good it is seen in scurvy due to vitamin c deficiency due to vitamin c deficiency and this is going to be what a radial head fracture bowing of leg again it is due to vitamin c ascorbic acid ascorbic acid and this is going to be the fracture of olecranon it's called as what olecranon fracture with this we conclude orthopedics you are all getting closer to your dreams we are going to clear the exam this time. Big applause for you guys. Keep studying and revising well. All the best.